welcome back to Open the Mini Rican Productions. Wepa is an Afro Latine production company with a mission to see people of color on both sides of the camera, creating content that represents the underrepresented and providing opportunities for marginalized communities. Uh, along with producing and developing their own work, the Mini Rican Productions seeks to collaborate with other organizations and visionaries who also strive to empower BIPOC and LGBTQ plus communities through their art. Also, appearing under the name Gonzalez Leiva Jr., they make their commercial debut as co-producers of the new Broadway revival of The Wiz. Woo! Everyone, welcome to Mini Rican Productions co-founders, co-partners, Pierre Jean Gonzalez and Cedric Leiva Jr. Thank you so much for Thank having you for having us. us. Thank you. Yes. Oh, my, oh my gosh. How exciting. Very exciting. <sighs> like, Very we, exciting. we still look at each other all the time and I'm like, ¿Qué está pasando? Yeah, like, yeah. What, what is, what is happening? happening? What yeah. is happening? But, you know, we put in so much work mm -hmm. artistically outside of ourselves and you know, I'll always say this, the minute that we met each other, I knew it was home. Right. And then I didn't even know that we were capable of creating this type of art and work, but the life and the pandemic kind of like forced us into it. Right. And we're just so blessed to have a company, but also to have each other. Right, yes. that's yes. so beautiful. Y'all yeah. powerhouse co yeah. couple. I'm like, what? watch out world. Yes. Arena, thank you <laughs> for having us. We're such a fan of everything you're doing and what you represent. And we're just so proud to know you and to now collaborate with you and just thank yeah. you. Thank you so much for everything you do. You're such uh, a you beautiful representation of our people and our communities. Yeah. Thank, so you, thank you, Cedric. No, thank, thank you. you. And, yeah. and, and, you know, I want to say it on air, you know, thank you for walking me down the steps at the White House, darling. Tu sabes, okay. la reina del barrio. Okay. You okay. tell me we're, 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 we're invited we're, we're, to we're, we're, yeah, yeah, yeah. February 22nd, uh -huh. 2024, uh -huh. in honor of Black History Month, mm -hmm. representing the afro Latine community. Yes, yes. Um, and and that was remarkable. It was it was insane. Mm -hmm. I, I keep telling people, you know, you walk we walked into the room and there were like maybe 60 seats. And then you started to really realize every single person in that room was a part of the the uplifting of Afro Latinx Afro Latina experience mm -hmm. art. Uh, you know, government, mm -hmm. like just music, all, music, all, of it. all aspects. Yeah. So I know, I, I know. Honored. And we were there. And we were there. And we were invited and because, we, were invited. we, you know, the, was, there was a select few yeah. and non transferable mm -hmm. invitation. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And I was so pleased to see so yes. many familiar yes. faces, yours you know, included. Yes. And, and, uh, and I say it all the time, Cedric, I'll never forget you walking me down the spiral I steps. Know. You're like, Reina, let me help you yeah, down. Yeah, <laughs> yes, I have to. Let's, let's go to la Reina. Oh Come my gosh, I appreciate yeah, yeah, yeah. it so much. And, and you know, and I also want to introduce everyone to you in playing the role mm -hmm. of Hamilton. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, I mean, you just finished. Yes. You're yeah. done. I was on tour uh, for about six years. Uh, I, at first, I was a standby, so I was an understudy. I covered uh, The King, uh, Burr, and Hamilton, and I actually got uh, promoted March 2020. Let, wow. that settle, let, let that settle in. Wow. March 2020, I was supposed to take over. Uh -huh. It was like mm -hmm. March 28th. Uh -huh. And then the pandemic happened. Right. Uh, we had just got engaged. We had a kind of like a little bit of money that we were putting aside right. to, mm -hmm. to get married. Mm -hmm. And right. we threw it into our company. Yeah. We were like, you know what? Yeah. Let's just... We were, we were all struggling, right? In right. that moment, we were surviving. We were right. like, how can we just like right. not go crazy in right. the house? Yeah. And through that, Dominican production was born. Yeah, and really. we turned a horrible situation into a beautiful, positive situation for us and for our communities and our, for our friends. Yeah. Um, one of the first people that we collaborated with was uh, Minteri Tucker Concepcion from Bombazo Dance Company. Right, which we love here we on love Open her. as well. Yes. We support Minteri as yeah, well. Yeah, we love her. And, and of course, Pregón is PRTT. Um, they have been so beautiful and so gracious and uh, have provided so many opportunities for us. So um, we started collaborating with them and also with so Caridad so. and the New York Poets Cafe, yes. La Bruja. Yeah. And, uh, you know, just reaching out to our people and and just things started snowballing and, and the company grew and and we've just been, we haven't stopped and it's been such a gift. Yeah, a and, and the gift is truly in the intentionality behind yeah. the right? work. I mean, yeah. Well, it, I, I, I always say it was like, 
we came in like at a really perfect time, uh -huh. right? Mm -hmm. Because we were such a niche company. We we specify an LGBTQIA New Yorican experience, right? right? Mm -hmm. Something that I've never seen or still kind of haven't seen in the media. And I uh, we took the money that I that I made from Hamilton and I threw it back into my company. Nice. You know what I mean? Like nice. paying it forward in that yes. sense. And yes. it's paid off. Yes. yes. And also with the intention to create more opportunities and visibility for Afro-Latine people. Yes. Right. Who are still not represented in media, in, in all forms of, of, of representation, be it uh, commercial or print. print work. You know, we, we, we're still lacking t showing that group. So we're, mm -hmm. we're trying to be advocates to promote more and to tell those stories. Yes, no, I, uh, it's wonderful. It's wonderful because I see you actually in different arenas, right? You're, you're doing the theater, yeah. you're doing the choreography as well. Yeah. You just did choreography in the West Side Story. You played, you actually were Chino yeah. in the yeah, West Side I was Story. Yeah, I was Chino West Side Story. And, and you also, were teaching them the right dialect. Yeah, I was also the dialect coach. And <laughs> that was him that told yeah, yeah. He was like the Puerto Rican person, right? Yeah. They were like, yeah, we're not keeping yeah, checking in with me. But no, I, I was an associate choreographer for Maite Natalio and Guadalupe del Carmen's Bees and Honey. Bees and Honey. At NCC. Oh. Um, so that was my the choreography. That was the choreography. That was yeah. the choreography. Yeah. I confused yeah. No, but I thought yeah. Yeah. You know, wearing, wearing a lot of hats. No, trust so me. He was giving you know, them, he was giving you know, them a, I'm like, what you need? What you need? I got you. Salsero, you know? so, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we do it all. Uh, of course. So yeah, now yeah. let's talk about how you became co-producers uh, on Broadway. On the Broadway. On the, on the Broadway. 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 Yeah, so a beautiful opportunity uh, came about last summer while I was doing uh, West Side Story at the Muni. Uh, Mike Isaacson, uh, lead producer of The Wiz, uh, also legendary Broadway producer, uh, had breakfast with us because we told him that we were interested in commercial producing. And we mm -hmm. sat down, we spoke to him, and at the end of our meeting, he offered us this amazing opportunity to be co-producers of The Wiz. And we met the challenge and... Yeah, fall of this of last year, we were official, uh, officially initiated into the producing team, and as Gonzalez Leyva Jr. And we first started uh, in, in this world as investors of Top Dog Underdog, that right. won mm -hmm. a Tony for Best Revival, and that opened the doors. Congratulations! Thank on you that. so much. Thank you. And that opened the doors to this, then leading us to Mike Isaacson with this meeting, who then offered us this uh, chance to represent the Latinx community because. Um, the last study done in 2018-2019 said that 1.4% of Broadway producers, 1.4% of Broadway producers were Latine. Out of wow, you know, I mean, that's a come really on, come on. Like, tiny exactly, respect. exactly. A so we're respect. trying to be in these rooms and these spaces to create opportunities for other people, right. Like us, right? You know, not only Latine, LGBTQIA couples, right? You know, um, but specifically Latine people, right? Um, to bring not, the authenticity yes, to yes, it, authenticity, as well. but also to create access and space Absolutely. for us to be in these spaces that have been uh, always available to only certain people, right? Mm -hmm. In certain yeah. categories. Exactly. That's really what but it's, it's about. Sharing, <laughs> it's also sharing information. It's right. like not hoarding yeah. the right. information. Yes. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. at the end of the day, our people do not know how it works. Right. Yeah. You know, we were lucky enough when uh, Top Dog Underdog came to the table. You know, we had some money saved and it was just like, let's just like go for it. Let's just yeah. take a risk. And then yeah. from that risk yeah. opened up like this whole new world mm. for us. And we're just trying to like give it back. Right. We're trying to like create one day like an organization yeah. that we bring in people, right. yeah. you know, to be producers on Broadway, yeah. not for the minimum 25K, right. but like for whatever they want to right. like be a part of something yeah. right. and to feel yeah. ownership. And also I think it's also being specific of the things that we produce and invest in. So Top Dog Underdog, right. mm -hmm. you know, uh, promoting, showcasing black African-American stories. The Wiz, yeah. it's an all-black cast right. with an all-black creative team. Right. Again, things that are unheard of, right. haven't been done in mm -hmm. years. Right. So, mm -hmm. you know, being intentional about the work that we're doing and what we're representing and creating opportunities for other people like us. Right. Thank you, Pierre, Dean Gonzalez, and Cedric Lever Jr. Divinity Rican Productions co-founders, co-partners, and co-producers of The Wiz on Broadway. And once again, you guys, previews of The Wiz are happening now with their opening night happening Wednesday, April 17th at the Marquee Theater located at 210 West 46th Street in Manhattan. For tickets, visit wizmusical.com. For more information on Divinity Rican Productions, visit Productions. 
www.openartistspotlight.com. All right, stay tuned. Our Open Artist Spotlight is coming up next. All right, guys. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. I love you guys.